How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning into my video. Some of you might have heard this information already, but I've made it my mission here on YouTube not to be always first with 2A news, but it's to try to spread this information to as many people as possible. And that's especially to the two or three people that like to comment in my comment section, this is old news. A few days ago, Democrats proposed a new bill that would make a federal registry of all AR-15 owners and they would be required to send in photos and fingerprints. One thing, do they actually think they're going to be able to pass this bill? Because they haven't been able to pass any of the other ones they've tried this year. And then the other thing is, if somehow hell froze over and this bill did pass, how many people do they actually think will comply with this? Democrat Representative Ted Deutsch, what a scumbag this guy is, led a group of nine Democrats to introduce legislation to amend the National Firearms Act. To include any semi-automatic rifle that has the capacity to accept a detachable magazine, like the AR-15 platform, requiring owners to be put on a federal registry. Under H.R. 4953, the federal registry will force AR-15 and other semi-automatic rifle owners to submit their fingerprints and photos, and if that isn't enough, to notify law enforcement of the ownership of the firearms. Furthermore, the amendment adds a nine-month waiting period for approval and a $200 tax stamp, all in accordance with pre-existing NFA requirements. The move to reclassify the AR-15 under the NFA follows Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's position on semi-automatic rifles like the AR-15. Most of you have probably seen this, but on the official Biden-Harris website, Biden's plan to end our gun violence epidemic page, the Biden administration says it supports reclassifying the firearm under the NFA and that Biden would like to reduce the stockpiling of weapons and restrict the number of firearms any American can purchase to once a month, among other measures. As detailed in American Military News, David Shipman said he would support a measure like H.R. 4953, telling Hill TV's Buck Sexton that he supports treating AR-15 rifles like machine guns. To me, if you want a weapon of war, the same weapon that was issued to me as a member of the ATF SWAT team, it makes sense you would have to pass a background check. The gun would have to be in your name, and there would be a picture and fingerprints on file. I'm sure we all know that David Shipman was in the ATF for quite a long time, we, and we know how ignorant and stupid he is, but he also has to know that civilian AR-15s are not like the weapons that he was issued because ours don't have the fun switch on them. But people that are ignorant and don't do their own research believe the crap that is coming out of these people's mouths. He also said, to me, I don't mind doing it if I want to buy a gun. These policies just protect the criminal. Criminals do not buy guns at gun shows or licensed FFLs, you freaking idiot, and you know that. They're stolen out of people's houses and cars or straw purchased for them by people that don't have records. Like I don't think you should be able to anonymously purchase 20 AR-15s at one time. I don't think it's unreasonable at all that you have to pass a background check to own a weapon of war. The Senate has spent quite enough time flirting with this profoundly misguided nomination. The American people deserve a trustworthy person to run the ATF. It's time for the Biden administration to revisit the decision and send us somebody that fits that description. Let me know in the comment section down below if by chance this law does pass, would you comply with it? If you enjoyed the video or if I gave you some information you didn't know, please like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I will see you in the next video.